Okay, so I went live with the title Dream SMP Lore Stream, and then we had an influx of first time chatters alike, which I've never fucking seen before. People were coming in like, huh? What? What's going on? What? Huh? Y'all need to watch some Overwatch 2 on this channel. Trust me, it's better entertainment than whatever dog shit you've been watching. I'm gonna be honest, I, I didn't want to talk about shit like this. I don't want to, I don't like being super hyper serious on stream. I, I hate it. Uh, I like to be an escape to be funny, but there's just too much bullshit in regards to like Dream SMP people in the circles lately that like, I just want to like talk about it for a second because like it's frustrating and I feel like I owe it to people to be honest about it. Because it, the shit that is out there is fucking frustrating and ridiculous. It, 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 I, I, I can't do it anymore. I really can't. Um, I'll turn on cam for a second. Okay, yeah, I, I just... Dude, it's frustrating. It's been, it's been making me upset. It's been making me angry. And, like, it, uh, Brooke AB said it best. Uh, honestly, her, like, co commentary was the best on it. If you want to hear my honest thoughts, I agree with everything she said. I, the, the fucking... It, ugh, where do I even begin, dude? Just like the clip of that girl reading off her statement and crying. If that doesn't show you the pain that that is, it is crazy to me. It is crazy to me. It, it is absolutely. I don't even know where the clip is. I don't have it on hand. I, I don't have it on hand. The girl's name is Katie. Yeah, I haven't seen her full statement, but I saw that. It's frustrating, dude. It it, it, is, it is super frustrating. Um, I want to take myself off camera because I feel like I don't speak as well when I'm distracted by my face. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like I owe it to be honest because, uh, like, obviously anybody who's watched me for a while has known that, like, I I joke about the Dream S and P circle a lot. I do. It's obviously something I've been pretty separated from. Uh, I've always been in my own corner, um, and you know, I never felt it was my obligation or my place to like speak out on stuff that I had seen and heard because it wasn't and it isn't. Um, but dude, I, I, it's it, it's crazy to me. It, it is just it is frustrating to me. The, what I'm trying to get at is like the fucking the way that that circle talks about and treats women behind the scenes and even in, in the scene. I guess as you can see now, as that's become public, it's just disgusting. It's just it's just been gross to me for it's just it's just gross, just gross. It's just gross. It, it, it's the fact that it's gross plus the fact that the audience that they've cultivated is like young girls. You have young girls watching you, and then you're going to go in your apology and then say that, that like, oh, like, I thought it was chill, or like, oh, they were eight. Like, you're 27. Like, can we, st like, like, what the fuck? Like, they're, they're literally just turned 18. Like, what, what are we even arguing about? What are we even discussing? Like, where is, the, what nuance are you trying to get at here? And like, it's a pattern, dude. Like, it's a pattern. Like, even if we have the most charitable view of shit, like, dude, why are you in these situations in the first place? Why are you in these situations where people are reaching out and going like, hey, like, let, come to my hotel room. Oh, you're not being fucking ID. Like, how old? Like, what the fuck? Like, how is, like, it's, it is crazy to me. And again, I, I hate to say it because I feel complicit in that I didn't say anything earlier, but I'm not surprised, dude. I really am not. I have seen the way that circle has talked about women behind the scenes, what they've done to girls behind the scenes, it, 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 which are not my stories to share. And it, it, it is frustrating, dude. It is fucking frustrating. It, it you know, you can't really, I, I beat myself up for not saying shit earlier, but I feel like I owe it to my audience and the people that watch me to know that like, I don't stand by that shit. I don't support that. Um, but like, dude, Again, it was never my place to say shit, but also, like, if I did, if I even hinted at shit, I got fucking dragged for it, dude. I had fucking thousands of stands being like, oh, what the fuck do you, what, keep their name in here, shit like that. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck do you even do? What the fuck do you even say? That's part of the fucking strategy, isn't it? That's part of it. It's like, I'm going to cultivate an audience of fucking crazy, like, well, crazy, that sounds wrong, but of like hyper fixated young girls to then defend me and shit. It, it, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy, dude. It, it is frustrating. And I am so glad to finally just say shit because it, it has frustrated me for so long to no end, dude. Um, I, I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, again, I barely wrote any notes. I, I barely wrote anything. I, I just, I feel like I had to say something. It's talking about George, that whole circle, dude. Genuinely. Uh, it's, it's an open secret, too. It really is. Like, you ask anybody that has been around, I guarantee you that they'll, they'll vouch. Like, it's an open secret. It really is.
What did Tubbo do? <laughs> Tubbo has done nothing wrong ever in his goddamn life. You keep his name out your fucking mouth, buddy. All right? Uh, let's not bring, don't you bring him, don't you bring my boy into this. How does this connect to the lore? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. I just, I, there was a situation last summer where I took, like, I was in a photo that I thought was funny and people got mad for taking a photo. A dream is in people. And, like, I made a joke about, like, mana tree stuff. And, like, I got so much shit for, like, talking about that. And, like, they literally called me and, like, tried to explain the situation to me. And my problem is I, I try to be very charitable to people. I try really hard to, like, see the best in people and to, like, fucking understand where they're coming from or be charitable. And it's not smart to do in this space, dude. It really isn't. It just isn't. The way they represented shit to me, I crossed reference with other people, and it was not accurate. Uh, I, again, I don't know full details, and I'm not even going to pretend to, but it, it, ever since then, I said to myself, I'm like, dude, this, these people are not genuine. They are... Uh, it, anyways, I don't know. I don't know. What did Josh do? <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Josh was saying all this shit years ago, and y'all were crucifying him for it. Josh was one speaking truth for so goddamn long, and everybody was fucking, Josh, kill yourself. Like, dude, what the hell? Like, be nice to Josh. Congrats on 1.5k viewers. That's the frustrating part, dude, is how people show up just for this shit. Like, fuck off. I don't want the attention from this. I really don't. I just, for my own conscience, I I had to say something. Like, the fuck, like, it, I don't want this to, like, be a thing, and then people pretend like there's, like, some nuance here that isn't, that isn't there. Like, the situation itself is so mind-bogglingly frustrating that it, it, it's disgusting to me. It's disgusting. And part of me is frustrated that two years, like, two, however long ago, when I, whenever anything happened, that I didn't say anything then that could have potentially prevented that from happening to, her name's Katie, right? Or, or anybody else, dude. That's, it's fucking frustrating. It's frustrating. Now, obviously, if I ever knew something to that extent, I would have spoken up. But, judging by people's behavior behind the scenes and the way they would speak about women, I'm frustrated that I'm not surprised. I'm frustrated. That's all it is. Who do I need to nuke, says Jill Biden. Jill Biden, get out of the chat. Go to work. Just go full nuclear and start outing everybody. I'm not saying any names or anything, dude. It's not my place. It's not my fucking place. I'm just saying what needs to be said because I don't want people to fucking... Pretend like this shit can just go on. There's good people out there that are creators. There really are. And I, I tried my best to try myself with the right ones. But I, I don't know. I feel like I've been a bit of a pussy and beating around the bush on shit for a while. And I'm just frustrated. Anyways, thanks. Thanks for listening. We're going to play Overwatch today, guys. We're going to play Overwatch. So all you guys could leave now. <laughs> Unless you love really good Overwatch gameplay. Unless you love really good Overwatch gameplay. Because it's about to get really good in here. If you want to learn something, I'm really good at the game. How many nine-year-olds in the vacation thought it was an actual lore stream? Isn't that the frustrating part, though? Is, like, you joke like nine-year-olds, but, like, there are kids watching. There are kids. Like, how old was that girl, Katie, when she probably found out about George or Dream or the Dream SP? What, three years ago? Would have been 15. Connie, you want a duo over Would have been 15 and now manipulating to go into a fucking... It's fucking gross. It's fucking gross, dude. It's the exact kind of thing that I was worried would always happen. It's the exact kind of thing. Hunter, stay away from winter tonight. <laughs> Hashtag they hired you. The shooters are out. They get me, dude. No, and like people have, like, that circle's known for a long time that I keep them at an arm's length. It's been apparent. Like, let's not pretend like I, I, I've known. I'm not dumb. The thing is, I'm not dumb, and that's why I think a lot of times they would keep me close and keep me around. It's because they knew I wasn't dumb.